Hi, I'm Tim Shatnik, and in this video I would like to show you how to create a polyphonic synthesizer from a monophonic synthesizer which we created in two previous videos. I have it here, this monophonic synthesizer, which works like that. Here I have harmonicity control for frequency modulation, and frequency modulation amount is set with this ADSR. And here another ADSR for control of overall amplitude. Which is quite cool, but it would be even better when this synth would be able to be polyphonic. So let's do it. We go to edit mode and open the patching mode here. And now you can see I tidied up a little bit this patch so we can clearly see what's going on. And now to create a polyphony, first of all, we would need to create a, an instance of one voice, which we can later on multiply and create many voices with this one voice. So to do it, we need to select the most essential objects, which we need to create one voice of the synth. Basically, all of these objects are required to do it, except, except of controls. So we just now go to edit here and press on encapsulate or just shift command E. And then here we get the sub patch which we can open. And here we have kind of an instance of one voice. Now there's one problem here with this instance. It has too many inlets. So you can very easily get lost. We can improve it. And before we encapsulate, we can pack all these things into one message which would contain all these values as a list. So actually I don't want to have all these values to make things simpler. I want to have only four values which are attack the case sustain on release. And what I do now is use a pack object. It outputs list when any element changes and works exactly as pack which we used before but it just doesn't have this C in, in between A and K. So we create here a list of four floating point values like that. And all these inlets are hot. It means that whenever we change one of these parameters, it would create a list for us here on the output. So that's quite cool. And you can see we, we have all this information and we can transfer only with the help of one patch cord. That's what we want now. And then later on in our sub patch in one voice, we would want to unpack this information also in form of four floating point values like this and send to our ADSR like this. Cool. So that's what we need to do it right now and the same would go for this one for modulation amount. You can copy this algorithm, these two objects and then we connect these four here to three and four and this one two three four great and all this now we can encapsulate once more and we won't have any problems with enormous amount of inlets so just like this all except controls and you see we have only now four inlets that's perfect that's very, very good. So this is now one voice. And for the object which would be able to multiply this voice and make it polyphonic, we would need other type of ins and outs. Basically, you create an object which is called in, and in an argument of it, you would say which number of in is it. So for example, in one. And instead of this inlet, we create in one. And for all other ones, we do the same. We can highlight all other inlets like this and press option command V and it changes all those on this object and just let's change now the inlet number for, for those objects and finally we do here instead of this outlet we create out tilde object with number one and insert it here. So now this is a very good one instance of a voice. And let's save actually this as a separate patch. 
let's name it synth voice and I save it now on my desktop here I double click on it and I see that actually I have it as a separate patch that's what we need because when we go here we create an object which is called poly tilde and now in its first argument we need to specify this name which of the patcher which we created for one voice of a synth so synth voice and we have this synth voice very good and you see that we have all these four inlets and one outlet so the second argument here for this poly object would be the number of instances so the number of voices let's make classic 16 and the last thing here is an attribute which is called target we say attribute target zero it would mean that whatever we send in this inlets it's all sent to all instances to all voices of this polyphonic mechanism so if we change harmonicity it is changed in all voices or if we change ADSR or this ADSR it's also changed in all voices okay we can delete this sub patch we don't need it anymore and now the last thing here is that we somehow need to connect this list of pitch and velocity from incoming MIDI to this first inlet which should receive it but we don't do it directly like we did it before we need some special message which we need to prepend to this list and this message is called MIDI node so when we get here MIDI nodes let's just play back this MIDI clip then we would prepend this MIDI node it means we just add this word MIDI node before this list of node and velocity and then we send it further to poly what it would give us is possibility to send this node on node of events to free voice instances to free voices of our polyphonic mechanism and that's it now we just send the output of poly to live gain and let's just change these parameters now and you hear we make release bigger and the tails are not lost they really this really sounds like a polyphony And the last thing you want to do here is actually freeze your device before you save and close it. And if we don't freeze our device, then this kind of patch is not embedded inside of our device. And it's kind of lost and we don't have any more um, instance of one voice, which is then later multiplied. So we don't get any more sound and so on. So just freeze your device. It's a good rule. And then you're ready to have a very good polyphonic FM synthesizer. And that's it. We did our first polyphonic synthesizer as Max for Life device. And maybe I just quickly add in presentation mode this live gain in the end because if we have too many voices it might get quite loud so now freeze again save close and then we have no control of overall gain of all voices and that's it thank you for watching and we'll see us in the next video where we would create from this synthesizer an MP compatible synthesizer in case you want to do some microtonality or additional expression on your synth. So thank you for watching and bye bye.